Official Wandering Weekends Campground Review, Moccasin Creek State Park on gorgeous Lake Burton. As always, let's go through a short recap of how we do these campground reviews. We got six different categories. Accessibility, this measures the distance from major highways, ease of maneuverability in the campground, awkward campsites, things of that sort. Uh, the number two is scenery, three is atmosphere, four is value, five comforts, and six, something important to us, kid friendly. First up is accessibility. Moccasin Creek is a good ways off of any major highway. That really hurt its score. Uh, that could be a good thing considering you're camping. It's very easy to maneuver around. There's no awkward turns. You are on some mountain roads, so they can get a little bit curvy, but nothing too bad. And there are some odd campsites, but I didn't see anything that would be of major concern. Uh, there may be a couple that would be a really tight fit for some of you big fifth wheels, toy haulers, or motorhomes. Overall, accessibility, Moccasin Creek scored a six. Up next is scenery. It's really hard to beat the scenery at Moccasin Creek as far as North Georgia is concerned. We really love it. You got the mountains, you got the lake. It's kind of hard to beat. Scenery scores an eight. Third on the list is atmosphere. The staff has always been super friendly at Moccasin Creek. They really love being out there. There's a couple of campsites that are smaller. Again, like I said, when the accessibility is concerned, um, but some of the campsites can be pretty tight. Uh, that, that didn't help this score at all. But we've never had any parties, never felt unsafe. It's always been very quiet. It scored an eight on atmosphere. On to value. Really, we should probably call this category cost, but we'll keep it value for right now. We may change it later. It scores the same as all other state parks. It scored a five. Now, we did get our two free nights of camping because we're friends members, uh, friends of Georgia State Park members, but uh, for, mo for the most part, it's going to be the average $32, $35 per night. It scored a five. Moccasin Creek scores well on comforts. There is lots of nearby dining in Clayton, even down in Clarksville, Georgia. Uh, the recre extra recreation around, there's all kinds of different hikes you can do, even across the street at Hemlock Falls, which we did a video on. There's lots of shopping in Clayton. Campground amenities are good. It's a state park, so you got paddleboard, you got canoe, kayak rentals, all of those water-type water sports. Campsite amenities are average. You just have water and electricity. There are some campsites that have gray water that you can hook up your gray water to. And then the thing, one thing that did hurt the comfort score a little bit was privacy. The campsites can be on top of one another in some areas, but never a big issue. It scored an 8 on comforts. Last but certainly not least is kid-friendly. Great playground, great recreation for kids. There's always, as far as demographics are concerned, there's always other kids to play with at Moccasin Creek. Hardly any campground traffic. The only thing that kept this from getting a perfect score is the lake. You do have to be careful with the lake close by. Obviously, it's a large body of water, and if you've got toddlers or, or small children, you need to watch them. Otherwise, it's awesome for kids. It scores a 9. Add all the scores together, and Moccasin Creek scores a solid 44. It is the highest score so far for Wondering Weekends, and rightfully so. The only thing that hurt it is the accessibility. It's a long ways off a major highway. Again, like I said in the beginning, that can be a really good thing. And the value, it's just, an, it's just a state park. It's still $32 to $35 a night, so that places it at a 5. Otherwise, it scores very, very well. It's easy to see why Moccasin Creek is one of our favorites. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button and join us over at Instagram at the handle on your screen.